फ्रेंड्स वेलकम आई एम प्रोफेसर आशीष अग्रवाल कोर्स कोऑर्डिनेटर फॉर योर कोर्स इन्वेंट्री एंड रिस्टोर्स मैनेजमेंट फॉर कंस्ट्रक्शन इंडस्ट्री द कोर्स कोड इज ई टी फाइव फिफ्टी वन बी एंड आफ्टर टू यूनिट्स वी आर नाउ टचिंग द थर्ड यूनिट और वी आर डिस्कसिंग दैट इज द इन्वेंट्री मैनेजमेंट इन कंस्ट्रक्शन इंडस्ट्री इन योर यूनिट वन वी हैव स्लाइटली टच दैट हाउ द इन्वेंट्री इज मैनेज इन द कंस्ट्रक्शन इंडस्ट्री नाउ इन दिस Uh, particular session we will try to provide you a glimpse of various procedure which is adopted in construction industry in managing the inventory what are the challenges construction companies or the construction industry has a complex value chain and network there is a material cost fluctuation that put margins at risk change order management there is a cyclical demand uneven cash flow and demand for capital and there is a complex regulatory environment because as per the government norms they are changing so what will be our learning objective we will discuss role of inventory management in construction industry various components of inventory management advantage and how you will minimize the waste as construction industry first we will define what is inventory when we talk about the construction industry for construction industry the inventory is the collective stock of items which is required for routine functioning of industry or routine functioning of the construction industry therefore inventory is a way of keeping the material which will not stop construction activities and allied processes raw material semi finished good finished goods tool supportive items when kept in custody they form an inventory inventory is basically similar to the store department here the inventory control is more scientific more advanced and the efficient way of managing and keeping the material now what are the functions of inventory we have discussed this part in general in my first second and third video if you talk about the construction industry it ensures availability of material construction material construction item construction equipment and construction tool at site it provides proper purchasing guidelines it will ensure the supply of material whenever required and in what quantity is required it is the role of inventory management A smooth functioning of production system or construction system is ensured and the final is the cost minimization if you are properly handling the inventory your cost will be minimized we will gain the visibility into inventory process because we are keeping the record we know that what is in our hand what is in transit and how much to order it reduces time to market time to market means we are constructing a mall or house if we are properly managing inventory and our construction materials are available whenever it is required definitely the time to construct a particular building or mall will be less or will be reduced purchasing cost are reduced improved customer satisfaction and prevent stock out conditions now what is the effective or inventory management it is the effective functioning and execution of inventory is called the inventory management the aim of inventory must be satisfied through inventory management therefore inventory management takes care of quantity of stock to be stored when to order material how much to order and what to order these are the basic questions when we come to the inventory management inventory control or inventory management simply means stocking adequate number and kinds of store so that the materials are available whenever required and wherever required if you are doing scientifically the inventory control it will result into the optimal balance now what is the functions of inventory control it will provide maximum supply service consistent with maximum efficiency and the optimum investment to provide cushion between the forecasted and the actual demand that if suppose you have forecasting 100 but actual demand is 20 so it is not like that you should face a stock out condition the 
purpose of inventory control is to keep some safety stock so that if there is a actual demand is higher than the forecasted demand you can meet it now how you will classify the inventory for the construction industry raw material on which the operations will be performed to convert into the desired just like cement steel wood rubber tubes plates iron rods etc semi finished also called as work in process scaffolding because it is a type of a work in process you complete one portion of the room and it remains unfinished then it is called as a work in process material inventory now the finished material inventory or the when your room is ready when your particular portion is ready it will called as a finished material inventory and they are ready included in the total house or total uh, building tool inventory various tools are used just like mason tools drills cutter turning tools different type of saws all the tools which are using measuring tools marking tools all will come under this then uh, different types of construction tool machinery spares there are several spare parts which are required for repairing during breakdown or replacement of part they are called as the machinery spare supplies inventory those items which support the activity but does not go into the product they are known as the supplies seventh one is standard part inventory the part which are brought from the market are called the standard parts they are directly used in the building for construction work just like different types of steel rods accessories used in the bathroom and toilet uh, different types of tiles they are standard parts so what are the objective of inventory management for construction industry to purchase material at minimum cost to purchase material at right time to purchase material in right quantity to ensure effective availability of material to reduce inventory cost to keep documentation and record keeping in orderly manner so that anybody who wants to know about the inventory in hand he will visit your documentation or record keeping and he will come to know that how you are managing the inventory at your construction site to control the material stock because there are chances that the supervisor or the person who will purchase in the material in bulk but in order to control the stock you have to keep the inventory management scientific another important point is to provide sufficient storage space that is the objective because you know how much inventory you need how much space is required then to classify the material at construction site on various parameters just like we have discussed about the abc classification or vital essential desirable classification now what is the procurement side for a construction industry first we will review the selection we will determine what are the quantities are required we will reconcile the needs it is quite possible that same item is required for the different purpose so we will reconcile the need choose the procurement method what is the tendering process or supplier process or least cost method we will select the supplier we will specify the contract terms we will monitor the order status and then we will receive it and we will inspect it now these are the some objectives of the procurement system first is acquiring needed supply as expensively as possible that means we want to optimize the cost to obtain high quality supplies there should not be much rejection or the least rejection we should assure prompt and dependable delivery suppose we want sir certain items in 2 days it should be available distribute the procurement workload to avoid the period of idleness procurement should be proper so that there should not be any period of idleness or overwork we have to optimize the inventory management through a scientific procurement process now if you just appreciate that total cost of a construction project about 65 to 70 percent cost is the cost of the materials. Therefore, control over the cost of material used is required for reducing the cost of construction. Cost of materials can be controlled by controlling the inventory of tools, equipment, and materials. 
Periodical inventory management of tools, equipment should be taken up in every site to know the exact position and the condition of material, tools and the plant. What are the advantage of scientific procurement process? Any excess material not presently required can be shifted to other site for the use. Suppose there is a one tool which is not in use at one portion of the site, it will be shifted to the store. Before writing any requisition, previous balance quantity may be accounted for and the order may be placed for only those items which are actually needed. Any shortfall or damage to the material can be brought to the notice of higher authorities. That is the one of the responsibility of procurement manager that if there is a shortfall, it should be immediately noticed, it should be immediately brought under the notice of higher authorities. If there is a damage, suppose your some tools are damaged, it should be brought because if there is a idle period, it is going to increase the time uh, for the construction activity. Repairs or modification to storing process can be done if required. Suppose you need some repair because there is a chances of seepage, there is a chances of any other problem, fire, then you should repair it. One should cross check your record because do not depend on the only storekeeper. What is the item which is coming? Suppose 10 items are coming, where it is? If out of 10, 2 are dispatched, when they are dispatched, to whom it is dispatched, it should be noted. Consideration of percentage of wastage. If there is a wastage of material, it should again be considered. Then purchasing of material in stages as per work program can be followed to avoid additional financial burden due to excess inventory. Because if you are purchasing more, you are holding it. You are holding the capital also. Now, for construction industry, what is meant by inventory management? That how a construction industry view inventory management? Basically, inventory management involves for construction industry procurement of material, storage, identification, retrieval, transportation and construction method. All these comes under the inventory management. Four more points, materials planning and control, purchasing of material, storing and inventory control and materials management technique. All this comes as a inventory management in construction industry. Now, we will discuss one by one what is meant by materials planning and control. Based on the sales forecast and the production plan, the material planning and control is done. Here, in case of construction industry, we will see the construction plant. So, for my slides, I will interchange the word construction as production, sometimes we will tell you as a production, sometimes we will tell as a construction. So, as an intelligent learner, you should understand when I am talking about the production, it is basically construction. Material planning and control involves estimating the individual requirement of parts, preparing the materials budget, forecasting the level of inventories, scheduling the orders and monitoring the performance in relation to the production and sales. Another activity in inventory management is purchasing. This include selection of sources of supply, finalization of terms for purchase for construction items, placement of purchase order, follow up maintenance of a smooth relationship with supplier, approval of payment to the supplier, then grading of suppliers. Now, stores and inventory control. This involves physical control of material, preservation of stores, minimization of obsolescence and damage through timely disposal and efficient handling of the material. In the same way, there is a need under the store and inventory control to maintain the store record, proper location of material and stocking. A store is also responsible for the physical verification of a stock and reconciling them with the book figure. If in your book, it is written 10. So, 10 must be available. Now, what are the materials management techniques? There are five. First is planning, 
procurement, logistic, handling and waste control. What is material planning? It includes quantifying, ordering and scheduling. The construction company may have two major level that is micro level and the macro level. Procurement. Procurement is described as the purchase of material and services from outside organization. Purchasing, there are six steps, material indent, inquiry to vendors, vendor comparison, vendor selection and negotiation, purchase order, vendor evaluation. We will discuss in detail in the subsequent lectures or the video sessions. Now, how the uh, waste is reduced or controlled? at the construction site. You will find lot of wastage at the construction site. So, control of construction waste reduction can be done by practicing or practicing attitude towards the zero wastage, proper decision and design stage, site management, proper standardization of construction material and the codification of the same. Construction waste can also be reduced or minimized by using the waste management system on the construction project. Now, what are the different techniques which are used by the construction industries? Just like setting up of various stock levels, preparation of inventory budgets, maintaining perpetual inventory, perpetual means either at the constant or continuous review process or the periodic review process. Establishing proper purchase procedure, observing inventory turnover ratio and also the ABC analysis. These are the few techniques which we are using as an inventory control system for construction industry. Now, how you will set up a various stock level? The first and the most important thing always avoid overstocking and understocking of the material. Therefore, as a procurement manager, one has to decide what is the maximum level, what is the minimum level, what should be the reorder level, what is the danger level what is the average level of materials to be kept in the store. So, that is the setting up of various stock level at the construction store. Reordering level. Reordering level means it is basically point where which we give order for the supply that means our material is reaching at a level uh, which will go to the stock out condition therefore, we will go for the reorder level. This level is a fixed somewhere between the maximum level and the minimum level in such a way that the quantity of materials represented by the difference between the reordering level and the minimum level will be sufficient to meet the demand of production till such time as the materials are replenished. What does it mean? That we have to decide that what is the sufficient level at which we order and at what time we are going to receive and till date we have a enough material. Reorder level depends mainly on the maximum rate of consumption and the order lead time which I have explained to you. Under the reorder level it is important to observe what is the maximum rate of consumption and what is the order lead time. When this level is reached the storekeeper will initiate the purchase requisition. What is maximum level? Maximum level is the level above which the stock should never reach because we do not want overstocking. It is the maximum limit or maximum stock. The function of maximum level is essential to avoid unnecessary blocking of capital in inventories. Why we want to avoid overstocking? Because we do not want to block our money. We do not want to have the losses due to deterioration or obsolescence. We do not want extra overheads. We do not want the uh, thefts to be happen. That is why there is a maximum level and we should stop there. This level can be determined by the formula just like maximum stock level as equal to reordering level plus reordering quantity minus minimum consumption rate into the minimum ordering point. This will give the maximum stock level. Now, how we will maintain the perpetual inventory level? This is another technique to exercise the control over the inventory. This is also known as automatic inventory system. The basic objective of this system is to make 
available details about the quantity and the value of a stock of each item at all the time. That means, suppose today I am inspecting some store or some manufacturing or some construction unit, I should be provide what quantity of what stock is available and what is the total value of that. Because we should know if it is going down, we should purchase it immediately or it should be automatically replenished. Thus, such type of system provides a rigid control over the stock of materials as fiscal stock can be regularly verified with the stock record, keep in the stock and in the cost office. Perpetual inventory I am defining because it is a new word is a method of accounting for inventory that records the sale or purchase of inventory immediately through the use of computerized point of sale system and enterprise asset management software. Now, the various inventory management softwares are available. You can find what is the number of items or stock and what is the value. So, you can easily find out. Now, another important point which is coming as a open tender because normally items are purchased by inviting ender. It is called as a public bidding result. Why we want to enter? Because we want the lowest price. It is published in the newspaper. Normal terms in 4 weeks. Quotation must be sent in a specific format that are sold or that are provided online nowadays. For technical items, two packets or two bin system is followed for the tender, one is your technical bid, one is your financial bid. First, technical bid is opened and it is shortlisted and then we will select the financial bid and then it is the lowest is selected. Delayed tender or late tender are not accepted. This is one of the most important condition. It is written in every tender terms and conditions. But in case of delayed tender, if the road rated quote is very less, then it can be accepted. If some tender is coming late, but it is of good quality, depending upon the committee member, it may be accepted or it may be rejected. Quotation are opened in presence of intending department accounts and authorized party of authorized person of the party. That the party which is giving tender should be present there his or its authorized person should be present there. Normally, validity of tender is normally 90 days. Within 90 days, one has to give order. Another important term which should understand which is commonly used by the construction industry, inventory turnover. Inventory turnover indicate the rate at which the company sells or replaces its stock of good during the particular period. Similarly, inventory turnover ratio is the cost of goods sold divided by the average inventory for the same period. This is the repetition of open tender. Now, in this session, we have provided what is inventory management, what is the role of inventory management for construction industry, what are the stages of inventory management, what are the challenges in construction industry and what are the various types of inventory and inventory control. Types of inventory we have covered, so we have not touched here, but uh, just like I have in one of the uh, my talk, I have given that there is raw material inventory, fin semi finished inventory, tool inventory, so we have provided different types of inventory control mechanism that we have provided. One is your perpetual inventory control, ABC control, all these. I hope that you must have enjoyed and you have learned a lot from this session. In case of any doubt, please refer to the reference book which we have mentioned at your site. Thank you.